It's not a rumor anymore. ESPN's reporter Cameron Wolf confirmed on Twitter that Smith is a dolphin. As you may remember, on May 11th Tua Tungavailoa arrived at the Hard Rock to sign the historic contract. But before that, from April to early May 2020, Cameron Wolf posted a series of tweets about Tua going to the Dolphins. Not only that, but Wolf's reviews weren't random. It is based on secret sources. For me, I have always believed in Wolf. He has sources of news inside, and not like the guy who announced that Watson was unhappy. Wolf's information was really accurate. With Devona Smith, we won't need much debate. He is the number one target on draft 2021. Especially after yesterday's impressive performance on the Mecca of Miami Dolphins themselves against the Buckeyes. He's set three records in his own. More than ever, Hearts love Miami Dolphins N is looking forward to the day Smith put on a Dolphins shirt. So is Smitty the best wide range receiver in draft 2021. After patiently waiting his turn behind a long line of superstar pass catchers at Alabama, Devona Smith has been making the most of his decision to return to school for the 2020 season. Smith carved up opposing defenses with embarrassing ease on his way to winning the Heisman Trophy, becoming the first wide receiver to win college football's most prestigious individual honor since Desmond Howard in 1991. But has he done enough to establish himself as the top receiver prospect in the 2021 NFL draft class? Heading into this season, LSU's Jamar Chase was the consensus choice for that title, following his impressive 2019 campaign with quarterback Joe Burrow and the national champion Bayou Bengals. But Chase opted out of the 2020 college football season due to the COVID-19 pandemic, instead focusing his attention on preparing for next year's draft. That opened the door for Smith, who has taken full advantage of the chance to shine on a weekly basis at the, basis at the college level for one more year. NFL teams who prefer a bigger, more physical receiver might still opt for Chase, who was listed at 6 to 1 and 200 pounds back in 2019. His combination of size and athleticism allowed him to dominate opposing defensive backs, and that kind of skill set is what most people see when they think about a number one receiver at the next level. The biggest knock on Smith is his lack of ideal size, listed at 6 to 1 and just 175 pounds. Doubters might worry that his slight frame won't hold up to the physicality of the NFL game, or that adding extra bulk will limit the explosiveness that makes him such a dangerous playmaker. But sometimes, what makes special players special are the things you can't measure, and when you watch Smith play, it's easy to get the feeling that he'll be a difference maker at the next level regardless of any limitations he might have on paper. That's certainly been the case throughout his college career, dominating on a weekly basis, no matter who has tried to cover him. See what he just did yesterday, where Dolphins fans' hearts burned, the Hard Rock Stadium. Alabama wide receiver Devona Smith entered Hard Rock Stadium wearing a black mask emblazoned with the logo of the Heisman Trophy, a one-of-a-kind face covering for one of the most accomplished wide receivers in college football history. One week after he became the first receiver to win the Heisman since 1991, it became clear by half-time that Smith's final performance would rank among the best in postseason history. Unfortunately, it may just be one half. His second half was interrupted after two plays due to injury. Smith jammed his right hand against Ohio State linebacker Pete Werner during a tackle on the Crimson Tide's first possession of the second half. Smith was flexing his right hand and index finger before a trainer helped him into the sideline medical tent. He stayed in the tent for several minutes and eventually went to the locker room. Alabama said his return was questionable. Alabama's offense game plan used Smith in a variety of ways out of several different looks and formations, as a traditional receiver split out toward the sideline, running in motion or even coming out of the backfield. The range of options wobbled Ohio State's defense, which struggled devoting resources to the senior while accounting for the Crimson Tide's balanced scheme. He's done a great job of making plays for us. The whole offense is really playing well, said coach Nick Saban, before heading to the locker room up 35-17 at halftime. Against the Buckeyes, Smith was the most dependable skill player on an offense loaded with options. He was responsible for Alabama's first catch, a 22-yard haul on the Tide's opening series that gave Smith the sex career record for receiving yards. On the ensuing possession, Smith had catches of 32, 12, 3 and 5 yards, the last for a touchdown to give Alabama a 14-7 lead. 
After Osu tied the score at 14, Smith had 29 receiving yards to key the Tide's third touchdown in as many drives. Continuing that trend, Smith pulled in a 44-yard grab down the right sideline on the next possession, blowing past Ohio State cornerback Sean Wade, and then scored on another five-yard catch to push Alabama's lead to 28-17 with 3.19 left in the first half. To close out a memorable first half, Smith burned past the Buckeyes' defense, taking advantage of a ridiculous mismatch against linebacker Tuff Borland, for a 42-yard touchdown pass, bumping the lead to 35-e to 35-17 and raising an unanswerable question, what can Ohio State do, if anything? By the end of the first half, Smith had 12 receptions for 215 yards and three touchdowns while Alabama's offense as a whole accounted for 389 yards and 19 first downs on 9.0 yards per play. In addition to setting the career receiving mark in the SEC, Smith set a new conference record for receiving touchdowns in a single season, 23, and the Alabama record for single season receiving yardage, 1,856. He also set new college football playoff records for receptions, receiving yards and touchdowns in a single game, setting the latter two marks by half-time. So, do you have any doubts about Devona Smith not going to the Dolphins anymore? Well, let's take a look at this, as Devona Smith stole the show at the college football playoff national championship, the Miami Dolphins fan base couldn't help but fantasize at the chance to take him in the upcoming 2021 Dreisman Trophy winner exploded for 215 yards and three touchdowns in the first half against Ohio State on Monday night. The Buckeyes simply had no answers for him in the secondary and Alabama raced out to a 35-17 lead at halftime. An anonymous Power 5 coach went as far as to call Smith a cheat code. With yet another historic night, Smith clearly is setting himself up to play on Sundays. Now, Dolphins fans are desperately campaigning to bring the star wideout to Miami. The Dolphins will pick third in the upcoming draft thanks to a trade with the Houston Texans. Miami also finds itself in need of strong skill players, making Smith an obvious choice for the organization. Dolphins fans remembered to remind team ownership of that on Twitter during Monday night's game. Smith has all of the potential to be a star in the league, regardless of who is throwing him the football. In Miami, the Alabama receiver would get a chance to link up with former teammate Tua Tagovailoa to form a fearsome Crimson Tide duo. The rookie quarterback struggled in his first season in Miami, but a lead wideout would certainly improve his prospects in 2021. Smith's first half not only endeared him to the people of Miami, but also set a plethora of title game records. With Alabama comfortably in the lead, it's unclear what the senior wideout will do in the second half, but it's possible that history could continue to be made. At the end, will Smitty come to Dolphins? Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. I always appreciate your opinion, even when you say I'm bad. Talk it 10 times and in 100 different videos. We all deserve our own voice.